NASCAR Hall of Fame honoring Martinsville Speedway with an exhibit to help celebrate 75 years of racing at the historic paperclip. Our own Eric Johnson has more from Charlotte on a few familiar faces that were at the event. He's the winningest driver in the sport and at Martinsville Speedway, which is a few reasons why Richard Petty is known as the king. 15 grandfather clocks to his name. He was able to take a walk down memory lane on Tuesday. Everything just worked better for us at Martinsville than a lot of rest here. Petty says he's been in more races at Martinsville than track president Clay Campbell, having racked up 15 career wins. From those early moments, he knew it was something special. One of the dirt tracks we ran up there when Diddy was running, uh, there was two drunks on the back streets and they was fighting and they rolled out on the racetrack and had to call the flag to get them off. And, you know, there's different, different things like that that uh, don't mean nothing, but you still remember. The same could be said for his Hall of Fame crew chief, Dale Inman, who helped steer him to 188 wins and seven championships. When the schedule came out and we seen Martinville, you automatically thought about breaks. That, that was the key to the story. The two attribute Martinsville's success to Clay Earl's caring and generous spirit that went miles beyond the track and race days. Big Clay got a train track moved <laughs> and I don't know who had paid for that, who had the clout to do that, but uh, I remember when the train used to come by and he always blew his whistle and it checked the ground, but he got the track moved so he could expand Martinsville Speedway. Petty says the only time he's missed out on watching a Martinsville race was just a few years ago at the start of the COVID-19 pandemic. Like many fans out there, he is anxious and ready for yet another exciting race weekend at the paperclip. At the NASCAR Hall of Fame, Eric Johnson, 10 Sports.